We are very glad to, uh, yeah, to have two guests on our, uh, today's uh, program. And uh, Reggie van der Wieden has announced, also Ingrid uh, Timmermans. And uh, perhaps it would be a good idea, because uh, knowing you a bit, we've prepared an enormous amount of questions and something with the Eurovision Song Contest and, and Ukraine, perhaps, there. Ah, ah, so maybe. looking forward to playing the gist, beat the press uh, quiz. It is, so uh, a couple of minutes from now, then we're going to play uh, that. But first, uh, yeah, uh, start with, with Reggie. Uh, great that you made it to our show. Thanks and for having me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and perhaps you, uh, for our listeners and the Bios community, you can uh, tell us a bit about the, the Hess Green uh, Academy. Yeah, we know it by Haas, but now it's Green Academy. So there should also be a purpose there. Why yep. it is the name? Absolutely. But tell Absolutely. a bit for the listeners who do not, not know the Haas uh, yet about your fabulous uh, neighboring University of Applied Sciences. Yeah, thanks. Again, thanks for having me. And uh, thank you for, uh, for allowing me to, uh, to, to, uh, to, to be here with the fantastic performance of Kiani. Really, really impressive. Um, so yeah, the Haas Green Academy. Uh, we are based in the south of the Netherlands, as you are. Uh, so uh, our, our, our activities range from, from Zeeland, province of Zeeland, to, uh, all the way to Limburg. And, uh, we are the University of Applied Sciences in uh, agro, food and the living environment. So the green domain, as we call it. Mm-hmm. Um, and we were, we, uh, we were known under the name of the Haas University of Applied Sciences, Haas Hogeschool. Uh, but, but over the years, we've become so much more uh, than an uh, education institute for, uh, for, for bachelor students, uh, in our case. Um, so we are expanding that. We are expanding that with associate degrees. We are expanding that with masters. We are, in, in fact, developing a master together with you guys mm-hmm. uh, and with our colleagues down south in in Maastricht, Hogeschool Zuid. And uh, and but but also uh, we have a, a strong and growing uh, research program, uh, and we are very well connected uh, into the into the the small veins of uh, of, of of the southern Netherlands uh, uh, working community. Uh, where we translate our knowledge and where we also pick up the questions from uh, uh, from those regions. So uh, yeah, the Green Academy is there to uh, to, uh, to 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 support lifelong learning uh, from when you come from secondary school all the way to uh, to uh, way in your professional career. Mm-hmm. Things are, are changing so much. Um, so that's that's uh, that's why we changed our name. Also because Haas. Uh, used to stand for Hoger Agrarische School, Higher Agricultural uh, School. Uh, um, and we are also there so much more. It's really the agro and the food and the, uh, and, and, and the living environment. Um, and as you know, uh, in this living environment, there's a lot of polarization. Um, and that happens also in the institute, of course. Yeah. We, have, uh, we have farmer sons and daughters that do not uh, dare to tell that they're farmers anymore because Extinction Rebellion uh, is, uh, is putting pressure on Have them. you already been, been occupied? Because there are a lot of actions now at the we moment are, at other we universities. Are in, and we are in consultation with, uh, with, with, with okay. organizations uh, yeah. on that side, but also with uh, Farmers Defense Force. So yeah. it's, uh, they, all, they, all, uh, they, they all feature uh, on our turf. Yeah. And uh, that's good for the debate. And we're trying to facilitate a dialogue yep. because together we will have to solve the societal challenges that we are facing. Well, it's amazing, Reggie. Yeah, Reggie has only been a president for uh, two years now. Correct. And last talk- week, two years. Yeah. Last week, two years. Congratulations. Yeah. And you're talking yeah. about if you've been in the business for, for many, many, many years. But actually, you come from industry, right? That's where your I come your from background. industry. I've, I've spent 25 years in the food industry. Uh, last five years in, at Friesland Campina, so the, 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 dairy, uh, the dairy company. So there I had to deal with farmers as well as with the consumer and, mm-hmm. and everything in between, as we call it there, from glass to, gra- from grass, to glass. From grass to glass. And uh, so, so that I, chain I know another saying. I won't, I won't repeat the saying. I know it's not, it's not that one. <laughs> okay, okay. No, that's another that's kind of grass. Catching a ride, right? catching a ride, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, not that kind of grass, right? Uh, uh, no, absolutely. No, no. Yeah. So, and what then? What is your contribution then as president with a background from industry? What do you think? What, what is the the extra? We're we talking about plus at eh, Bios a lot. So, yeah. what is then your plus uh, to, to the Haas? Yeah, my plus is the link. The link in in the in the whole chain. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the, in the uh, in in the especially the the agro food domain. Uh, my plus is also that the way of working in industry is a bit different from the way of working in uh, in higher education. That speed is a bit different, so the pace <laughs> is a true. bit different. Yeah, but you also told me uh, it is really a lot of hard work, right? It's harder than you. It's expected. a lot of hard work, yeah. but it's very rewarding. 
Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, it's 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 still I you, I love it. Yeah. yeah. Is it, uh, you you will recognize that and, and you as well, uh, Ingrid. It's it's. It's a lot of hard work, but it's very rewarding. So it's also a bit of contagious, uh, uh, if, if that's the right uh, the right word here. Um, so yeah, it it is it is very fulfilling uh, to uh, to be able to uh, to contribute to helping young professionals to to de- to develop and to actually prepare for the for, for the big world out there. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. With all its challenges. Yeah. yeah, with all the challenges. And I think Has and, and Buas they have a lot in common. Eh? They're all small scaled, uh, intensive programs. Um, we're not competitive in a way, eh? because the We're complementary, I would say. More complementary. Yeah. We have right? a lot of so, crossovers. So we have a lot of, uh, Inge and myself, a lot of conversations already with the Has in the, in the last uh, months. And uh, yeah, to work together also in the ecosystem of Brabant, that will be becoming more and more important. Uh, so looking forward to, to further discussions and also what we can see on the, on the graduate level huh, with, together with the hotel uh, school, what we can set up. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Sustainability, green, uh, and, and climate yeah. crisis has become a, such an integral part of every industry and every part of our lives. Uh, I think, yeah, it's very complimentary. My question, if I can get one in real quick, is this balance, because we've reached a point, many would consider in the climate crisis, that action has to be extreme and dramatic and not only now but we're already past the now yep. and so some of the uh, movement is is to make these radical changes but dealing with the other stakeholders the industry the, the farmers and the and 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 on and on that quick shift or dramatic immediate shift is a uh, could be very unsettling to the uh to the system or to the to the client how do you balance that are you of the of the uh, opinion that we need to act now drastically or you still think there's time to implement changes that won't so dramatically impact yeah. everyone my personal opinion we have to act now drastically mm-hmm. uh, when we look at the Netherlands uh, I mean there's a there's a there's a sort of a, what is it a, we're, we're locked up now there's no innovation taking place we're really waiting for 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 the Dutch government to actually, uh, yeah, set some set some clear boundaries and, and set some clear uh, clear clear uh, uh, challenges. Well, translate the challenges actually to action, because uh, the, the, the the players in the in, in the society in the in the system they don't know, yeah, which direction to move at the moment, and they don't know, don't know if they are personally affect, uh, affected and what they can do. So what we can do is uh, offer them the tools and develop the tools. Uh, in, a, in, in a, let's say, in a menu card that they can that they can choose from. They're all entrepreneurs. If, if you talk farmers, they're all entrepreneurs. Or entrepreneurs, yeah, they, they have their own their, their own their own company, if you like. Uh, and they don't they they want they want they want their their company to be to be Successful. healthy for the mm-hmm. future. Mm-hmm. And that means that you need uh, you need healthy soil, you need healthy production, you need a healthy environment, and you have to do that together. But uh, yeah. Before they can they can start investing again, they need to know if there is in, in what direction they can move and have to move. It's 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 quite a challenge. Mm-hmm. It's quite yes, a challenge. no doubt. So yeah. tools to act yeah. rapidly and drastically, but yeah. you guys put the tools yeah. in place. And we we develop the tools for, we have the tools for today. We translate them and we and we develop the tools for tomorrow. Yeah, no, but they're doing remarkable things in the, in the bus and also in. Venlo. Uh, Venlo, eh? Also in, in 